you'll faint at the sight of this ungodly car. The Ram's Mobile, or the Devil's Ride, as they seem to think of it. Hi, and welcome to Need to Know, a show where we care less about made-up words and big promises and more about what's in it for you. I'm Alina, and today we're gonna talk about the Frankfurt Motto Show, quite possibly the craziest rendezvous place for outrageous cars. Let's warm up with a tame one, Byton and Byte. I can't remember all the shows this car went to, only to be displayed like a porcelain doll for visitors. The only time we could go in and watch the 48-inch screen up close was with a chaperone. I'm sorry, can I ask you not to say Oh, sure. Did you could? Um, people were, so we just assumed you could. See, we weren't supposed to touch anything. Ah! Come on! That comes from a car manufacturer that one year ago was bragging about having it on the road in 2019, at least in China. Where is m now? Till on a show floor, quite a bit delayed and less smart than before. It took one and a half years for Byton to accept that it couldn't retail this car with all the bells and whistles. The production car lacks a lot of intelligent features. The m that will hit the streets won't have rear camera pods, folks. Instead, Instead, the mirrorless car will be fitted with traditional wing mirrors. How about that? And if Byton already took from sci-fi looks, why not take the electronic door poppers out too? Yep, the M-Byte is now just like everybody else spotting normal door pulls. At least they're flush with the body, so that's a nice trick. Best of all, well, worst of all, is what happened with all the face recognition tech. Remember that? It's now off the table. M-Byte won't recognize you or your foes. In fact, the only big selling point they are still keeping are the touchscreens. The 48-inch dashboard display and the 8-inch tablet stayed. So, you basically have a normal car with a huge TV to distract you from the road. Oh, but you have gesture control, right? Wrong! Byton took that out too. So you're left with buttons and, hopefully, very, very good hand-eye coordination to drive this baby around. It's not coming this year, obviously, but in 2020 for China and 2021 for Europe and North America. Meanwhile, this car sold like crazy. The Lamborghini Cyan must be the poster child for aggressive, no time for regrets car. The two-seater has enough angles to bruise and it's the company's first green car. Well, it's still a hybrid, but it shows that Lamborghini is started to thrall under the new laws. The Cyan is not just the fiercest looking car I've ever seen, but the most powerful in the Lamborghini bunch too. It has 819 horsepower with super capacitors running instead of standard batteries. Unlike the M-Byte, this one's already spoken for. Just 63 Cyans were made and all of them are already sold. Ready for some ridiculous Sweet 16 gifts? If you're wondering where did all the concept cars go, don't worry, we have them. We cherry-picked the two craziest off-road concept cars on the show floor. The first comes from Audi. The Audi AI Trail is something straight out of Blade Runner. It's a rugged EV with four electric motors, each for a wheel. As the name says, it wants to offer level 4 autonomy on-road and level 3 off-road, but I wouldn't really bet my money on it. What it can do, the whole reason you would want it in the first place, is to deploy drones. Yes, it can shoot five drones in the sky, either to canvas the area or to illuminate the night. Deploying drones to give you some light is overkill to me. If you know you're doing sketchy stuff in the night, then the camera feed, well, it can come in handy. Are you doing sketchy stuff in the night? Whoa! Hey, uh... No, no, no. Don't tell me. Well, leave it in the comments. We always like comments. Comments are the best part of YouTube, don't you think? I'm ranting. So, if the Audi AI trail still looks too good to pass, you'll faint at the sight of this ungodly car. The Ram's Mobile, or the Devil's Ride, as they seem to think of it. More of a tank than a car, the Ram's Mobile has 999 horsepower. Yup, you heard me right. And it also sells for 
$999,999. Just turn the numbers upside down and tell me if that's not a What do you get for a million bucks? One, an exhaust that's trying to be made into a jet propulsion system. Yep, you're gonna fly. Two, an underside Teflon coat that won't get you some mud on it. Yeah, well, that's a big concern. Three, bulletproofing. Of course, over all that, you can choose the carbon fiber chassis that comes with the aesthetic model. Or, just a sec, you can go with Devil's Touch with an Honest G, well, <clears throat> a continuous track and gold trim. If you really want to push the pedal to the max, you can go in blind with the Ram Sider or God's Creation, two models that they haven't said too much about. So what if this one ends up being all talk, no action? Did we think about sensible cars, horsepower or garage space when we were kids? No! And that's the fun of it, really. Tell us, what would you put on a Rams mobile? Name it too in the comments below. See you next time! Until then, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this.